Governor Willie Obiana of Anambra State arrives Dr. Alex Akwemes Kwa in Oka, the state capital, where he is received by a crowd of party faithful. It's a show of strength by the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, as party supporters from the 326 wards turn out in mass at this rally to ensure electoral victory for the party. Their target is to clinch all the State House of Assembly seats at the polls this Saturday after the setback it suffered in the National Assembly election. Everybody must come out in mass for us to win all the whole House of Assembly to enable our governor, Chief Wood Dr. Willie Obiano, to work very, very well for the next three years. Our governor is doing a marvelous work in Anambara State. He's doing the consulting, he loads, everything, paying salaries to the, to the workers. So I'm telling the Epusigo local government to come out in mass, all the town for time in the Epusigo that make Epusigo local government, to come out in mass and support our governor, Abok Wodike. <laughs> Their next port of call is the Jerome Udoji Sectariat, where civil servants also receive Governor Obiano in excitement. <laughs> Governor Willie Obiano steps out to address the workers as he reiterates his administration's commitment to good governance in the state. I think I'm one of the first states to able to put a new minimum wage. We will be among the first states that will pay minimum wage. What it will cost Anambra, suppose 27,000 is approved, is over 1.4 billion naira additional. It is not easy, but I will pay it. With interactive sessions held with different groups in the state, the All Progressives Grand Alliance is confident of victory in Anambra State come Saturday, March 9th, as the party believes development in the state would be sustained if a healthy relationship exists between the legislature and the executive.